uh, some parody account wrote some blog or article that Troy Cage and Andy Whistler died yesterday. Of course, I'm a huge sucker. I fell for it. I always do. It'd be hard to find a more likely uh, suspect. Since he could, like, accidentally kill someone and then just, like, never think about it again. Right. I'm an innocent until proven guilty guy, which is not how this country works anymore, but... He could accidentally kill someone and not even know that he wasn't supposed to do that. There might as well just be blood on his hand. Yeah, he's guilty. Well, I have to assume he did kill him. But I just want to put one thing to rest. All these people are blowing up my timeline saying I killed the Vandy Whistler? You people are sick. Account. The only bets I have today are Eagles 22 to 1, can't lose parlay, and I got tails. That's it. It's not the biggest bet of my life, but it's the biggest win by far. Never thought I'd be in the Super Bowl. Well, actually, I did because I made the bet, but it has all gone perfectly up until this point. Hopefully, it continues. I've never seen somebody more scatterbrained on a bigger day of their life than this. <laughs> I got jeans underneath them. What? Just in case he goes out with the team. Wait, you're going double pants? <laughs> Two pants, baby. Like, this guy's up to something. Look at a maniac wears two pants. This is a perfectly fine outfit. And then I got the jeans. He's wearing two pairs of pants in case he gets invited oh, to hang out with the team yeah. afterwards. We went to Marcel Scottsdale Bar, and Max was pouring and sipping champagne the day before his team played in the Super Bowl. Max is so hungover. I sent him his Super Bowl tickets on Friday. He's like, cool, got it. <laughs> didn't do anything with them for the last two days. Lost his phone. Mean? Right before they were about to walk out the door, I was like, Max, you got the tickets? And he's like, oh shit. So now they're trying to get the tickets on his phone. I can't get my fucking email on my phone. Transfer him to Rome. How do I do that? I can't believe you didn't do this when I sent them to you right away. This guy's a mess. <laughs> This is a disaster. It says open the when Gmail app on Max's iPhone. I don't have that iPhone. Add those to the Apple Wallet. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Add those shit. Add those shit. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, yes. We're going to the Super Bowl. Tickets are in the phone. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Give me a hug, Max. Let's go. We're going to go ahead. Oh, come on, did you take a shower? No. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I jumped in the pool though. If the Eagles win, I'll do everything I can to get you into the party after. And if the Chiefs win, we'll see you both back here. <laughs> Sending off our soldiers. <laughs> Oh, that was 
Three. Oh, oh boy. Chris oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, no. oh, boy. What's happening? Here we go. We are the champions, my friends. And we'll keep on fighting till the end. And we'll keep on fighting till the end of the, of, of the world. Yeah. Oh! oh. Wow. Wow. Holy shit. So, I knew I was going to do burning down the house, but he was like, you know what would be really funny? Is if you wore a wife beater like Freddie Mercury did doing Queen, We Are the Champions. So I said, fuck it. I'm going to do both. I had not worn a wife beater in a long, long time. I know I'm showing off my guns, you know. Plenty balls would be proud. Vince, just, he flipped my whole mood around. It's like taking a drug. That might be the first time in world history that We Are the Champions has been performed at halftime. Famous video. Best Super Bowls ever, and that was one of the worst Super Bowl endings ever. I've never seen a championship gift wrap to a team before. It's all right, that's gambling, boys. Fucking sucks. It's more like money comes, money goes. It's more about just like, I'll never have a ticket like that again in my life. I never will. It's a once in a lifetime shot. I ain't Max is in the world to hurt me. I'm gonna punish him. I'm gonna take the ref's side against him. You get close. You're up, you're up by 10 points at halftime. I thought they were gonna win. And Who knows if you're, ever, if you're ever gonna be back. Honestly, I'm a guy, really. You were a, a joy to be around this week, so. Thank you, thank you. How are you gonna pay me? I can just Venmo you. It's tough to see Max like this, though. He'll be back. Max will be back. I hate this phone. I hate this city. I just wanna to go to you sleep. Your facial recognition will only recognize you in the future when you're sad. Mm -hmm. That wasn't that funny. I'll be on to the next bet. Tomorrow, he's gonna be sad for, look at him. He's gonna be sad. <sighs> long, long. Is it sad? Um, I mean, sleeping it off has been nice. The more time passes, the easier it gets, but um, I mean, it's still difficult. Still a big catch, $6,000. Payday's tomorrow, so, so that'll be nice. Yeah, it sucked. That's my stance two days after the Super Bowl fucking sucked. The Eagles were there every step of the way all season, and I still personally think are more talented than the Chiefs. And they didn't get it done. They had an opportunity to get it done, and, and they didn't. Look, if Max, AKA Philly Mays, AKA Mainline Max, AKA Maniac Max has enough juju in this universe to jinx the Philadelphia Eagles with the champagne toast the night before, I guess we're all fucked. Yesterday, Monday, was one of the worst days I've had in a while. I had to come right from Philadelphia straight to the office. My shoes were soaked. My coat was soaked. I smelled like ass. Maybe peed my pants a little. Sorry. I don't want to say it's entirely Max's fault, but there is an energy about that guy that is inherently negative. Maybe he had a little part in it. Right now, we are almost title town. We're really good at almost winning titles. We can't really get it done right now. But I mean, something's gotta change, I guess. You never know when you're gonna be back. And I know that next year, they probably won't look the same. You just gotta kinda wait and see. Feel good, it's Tuesday. Um, I'm tired, I'm very, very tired. Super Bowl week always takes a shitload out of me. One of the most packed Super Bowls we've ever had. We'll see how come the game had gone a little different. That's life. You know, like every every Super Bowl week I come back and I'm, I'm so tired, but I'm also like, this is gonna sound sappy as fuck. Uh, very grateful. 
because it's a reminder when we do Super Bowl week, like, how awesome our job is. I'll never be close to that again. Like, I, lo- I started looking at teams for next year. It's like the Giants are, like, 40-1. to 1. Like, the Giants are going to fucking win shit. So, it is what it is, you know? I, I have no regrets, though. What about Max? I- I'll tell you what, Max is, uh, I just was in a meeting with some business people upstairs and max was in it and he couldn't figure out how to talk on the zoom so he had to call uh he's in a world of hurt the best way to describe it is what he said himself to quote max he was a really bad guy all weekend so i think he's got to pick up the pieces and try to move forward but yeah that that did not go well how do you feel after super bowl week first of all feel good a little tired, but it was awesome. Awesome week in Arizona. Fantastic week. Had some great dinners. Back to Pick Central. Is there anything going on there? I don't know. The boys are trying to stir up drama and trouble. I don't I don't know. There's nothing going on as far as I know. What other shows do you have that are at 100? Uh, I'm going to say reference 100. Pick Central is obviously it's daily, so it's a lot. Uh, is that Stan? Is that going to keep going when you guys go to Chicago? Yeah, we're going to we're gonna bring somebody else on, and oh. uh, it's going to be a new cast. That's to, oh. be, uh, to be announced later. White Sox Dave? Not White Sox Dave. I would Eddie. kill myself first. I don't know what the future holds. I'm Booz, producer, Pick Central. I don't know a whole lot. I wasn't in Arizona last week, but from what I heard through the grapevine, Brandon Walker went on a podcast on this network and spilled the beans, I guess, that Pick Central might be going to Chicago. Might not. New cast. No Marty Mush. No Big Ev. No Smitty. No Booz. <laughs> Who the fuck knows? People are saying Pick Central's a must listen today. Why? It's gonna be a civil war. <laughs> okay. I've been told I'm, I'm prepared for an ambush. North. That's not an ambush. The ambush is oh, you going on Son of a Boy Dad, Laza Fair, right. saying that you, everybody's getting replaced with a new Chicago cast, and we think that you're kidding, and then when people reach out to you privately, there is no resolution at all. There is no resolution. There will be a new gambling crew in Chicago. That's true. As far as Pick Central, I don't know. I will be doing something out there with a gambling crew in Chicago. Well, listen, quick. I've been on this sh- to show the same amount of days as you. We started the first day together. When you hear you're getting replaced on another show, it feels a little shitty. Y'all are, y'all are getting upset at I'm a- not upset. I'm very okay. I'm He's just upset. Like, well, when you hear it I'm on- sorry about the lack of respect. Just keep us involved. I am going to be there. You're going to be here. There's going to be two different worlds. Maybe here, you guys host Pick Central every day. Maybe out there, I host Pick Central every day. Yeah, but I mean, we do have yeah. someone on Zoom all the time here. Like, there's things Some that you- shows, it, it, you want me to Zoom in to, to the show? Look, it's, it's it's not about that. It's not even about me. If I'm on the show or off the show, it, like, my life doesn't change. There's nothing to talk about. There's nothing to say. What do we have to communicate? I, I understand. Oh, it's a relaxed atmosphere. I'm with the cool kids. If you go on a show and say, I'm replacing cool this show with a whole new cast, and nobody here is even told about it anything. Are you listening? That's exactly what happened. Fine, fine. Should have should have said something to you before I went on Son of a Boy Dad. I was just, I was just. I don't care if you go on Son of a Boy Dad. Marty just fought his balls off for a contract here. This show is important for a lot of people. All right, like you can stop right there. You can stop right there. I don't even want to hear that. There's two things. One, you you were just saying things to say things, and when you hear it from somewhere else and not you, it feels weird. I'm gonna be living in Chicago. That that's that's a fact. You guys are gonna be living in. New York. That's a fact. You guys can be involved in figuring out what New York looks like. I, I, I got to figure out what Chicago looks like. We'd all like the show. I do think that we were trying to keep it together a little bit with you, but that's obviously not in your plan. We're going to plan out exactly what it looks like in the future. I certainly don't have anything locked in stone yet. I know it didn't mean much to you. I have apologized for the no, clip. No, 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 I'm, no. I'm not. I'm over the clip. Like I, uh, You apologize. Right. I'm just saying I think if you watch the clip, you realize, oh, I could see how they would take it where there's been no discussion really and then all of a sudden it was it was just the way you said it. I like doing the show with you. No one else is leaving the crew to go to Chicago besides you. I didn't think it would be that crazy for you to just do it on Zoom. And then you're also going to be in Mississippi half the year as well. So I didn't think it would be that crazy where you're going to be half there, half another place. We, 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 we talk about this. We think the show runs best with you as the host. There yes, probably will not be any iteration of it if it, you just leave and we just try to keep it going. I mean, we can talk about that going forward. All right. I think Stool Strange can get the fuck out of here now. Yeah, yeah, I think everything's all good. I guess it was a, uh, just a just a miscommunication. Still nothing that's finalized yet, but we'll see how uh, how things go. I think, see, to me, I thought the, we have a good group. It does well. We're going to want to keep it the same. Maybe Brandon just does Zoom. I think he's great as the point man. We want to keep him as the point man. So that was all it was. Just a little miscommunication, but we'll uh, we'll figure it out. Like, at least on my end, I have no 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 uh, no qualms with anybody, no beefs. We're going to put on a good show Monday to Friday, 12 o'clock. All right.
at least your time. Mars supports you too. I think it's all good. Uh, Smitty and Marty were mad. You know, Daddy's leaving, and it's tough when Daddy leaves because Daddy takes care of everything. Are you? How can you? Are you talking about Big Head being on vacation? Or? He never does anything to help himself. Why am I always in these situations? The, the shit like that. Don't talk to Daddy like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all. It's fine. It's good. The question is to kill him dead. Good. One. Dead. I'm telling you, I went to high school with a kid who did that, and he killed the kid. One. I once saw a kid get hit with an aluminum back on the playground, and he survived. But it was like straight up. Wait, How old are the kids? I'd say 13, 14, yes, like they you. They don't have that yeah, strength yet. They don't have that bad I mean, yet. I'm sitting here. It's like a, 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 a T. Yes. I'm literally just a T. Yeah, you can just tee off on my head. It's tempting. <laughs> Welcome back to lowering the bar. I mean, just. I would never. <laughs> Clemmer. I've heard the Patrick Bateman joke before. New show, uh, Ref and Robbie, r and 20, March 3rd, Charleston, West Virginia. Uh, Ruff and Robbie with, uh, or Ruff and Rowdy with Ref and Robbie. I'm getting my words mixed up because we had a tongue twister for our title. But it's this Ruff and Rowdy studio show, little analytics before the event with Large, the Ref, and I'm the Robbie. Gotcha. Makes sense, yeah. We don't have a list. No? No. Okay. Team one, team one. Welcome to Rough and Rowdy with Ref and Robbie. I'm Robbie Fox, Rough and Rowdy commentator and analyst, and with me is Large, Rough and Rowdy referee. The fact that you said referee, Rough and Rowdy. <laughs> it's like a tongue twister. I don't have that in my bag. Welcome to Rough and Robbie. Welcome to Rough and Rowdy with Ref and Robbie. No, I got that one right. Oh, now I'm in my head. And I'm Large. Mental patient. You have to tune in on May 3rd, Rough and Rowdy 20. It's a can't miss. May 3rd? Oh, I said May. Yeah. You know, this isn't easy. Right? <laughs> I can't imagine packing more into one pay per view card and it's on May 3rd and you. <laughs> I can't imagine packing more entertainment into. <laughs> I'm done. He also said he's gonna fight for it. Like he only wants to be paid if he gets a knockout. Oh, is that right? That, that's he, said, he said non-negotiable. I get paid zero dollars if I don't get a knockout. And we were like, all right, we won't negotiate. <laughs> <laughs> the same contract for solely ass day for non-negotiable zero dollars unless I get Viva of the week every week. The, the Rosetta Stone for watching these fucking weigh-ins is a guy named Noah Big Booty Daddy. Big Dick Booty Daddy. Oh, Big Dick Booty Daddy? Yeah. Big cool. Really? Yeah. Make sure to follow Rough and Rowdy on all socials for more content. And we will see you guys on buyrnr.com. That was great. Yeah, cool. I think that's that was really good. Really Inning stretch all day. Uh, it's been a long time, fellas, since I've almost got tossed out of a sporting event. But some causes are worth fighting for. I got stopped by security. Uh, apparently, Vandy Whistler felt threatened by my presence. But keep this short and sweet. You should be ashamed of your behavior. You push yourself to everybody in the stadium, and you're a disgrace. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. That's what I Okay, you can use Hey, scoreboard. Starboard. You're, you should be ashamed of your behavior. We've been annoying the crap, the crap out of people for, what, 10 years now? Uh, more than well-deserved justice there. And honestly, if I'd have gotten tossed out, what a cause to go down for. You've got to stand up at some point in your life. The Vandy Whistler is spot to do that. All right, what's up, fellas? Got to address something. Uh, some parody account wrote some blog or article that Troy Cage's Vandy Whistler died yesterday. Of course... I'm a huge sucker. I fell for it. I always do. We all know this. I'm super gullible. It is what it is. But I just want to put one thing to rest. All these people are blowing up my timeline saying I killed the Vandy Whistler? You people are sick. What the hell do you think I am? A murderer? Y'all are messed up, man. I mean, the man might annoy the hell out of a lot of people, but to accuse me of murder? Shameful. Um, I stand with Mincy. Don't believe he would ever hurt the Whistler. He needs the Whistler. If he, like, murdered the Vandy, Vandy Whistlers, he can't rely on that being a future vid. And that's a vid he could film on his own down in New Orleans. He needs those. They need each other. Listen, Mincy is, is a lot of things. I don't think he's a killer. Top five worst take I've ever heard. You think Mincy's a killer? He could accidentally kill someone and not even know that he wasn't supposed to do that. You know when Michael Scott 
uh, runs over Meredith in the parking lot, and then yeah. Jim Halpert's like, he said he uh, hit a speed bump on the highway last week. I wonder who he ran over that time. That's Mincy. Mincy could like Absolutely. accidentally kill someone and then just like never think about it again right. and just be like, oh yeah, that was just like a raccoon I ran over. He always tells the truth, but he tells the truth in his own way. That could sometimes be a lie. Like, Mincy is a known criminal. If you watch the video and you see how frantic he looks, how out of place his hair is and how sweaty he is, that's, that's what like, somebody who just murdered a person Tommy, would look that could like. be him making a sandwich too. <laughs> what if it's all part of his act? What if Why are you looking really at the camera? Because like you're going to tell me that right now when you're moving your fucking hands around these lens, you're not putting some That's weird... because Nate was behind you. It's called no, depth of field. You do this every time. Then I watch Jewel scene and say, what if I look oh like a God. fucking fish in a... I'm a uh, innocent until proven guilty guy, but that's not how it rolls in this country anymore. So I am going to support Mincy though. He's innocent. However, I do need to see the evidence. He would be somebody that could kill somebody, 100%. When Mincy like, yelled at the guy at the College World Series or like the regionals or whatever, that guy was not the real Vandy Whistler. That was his understudy. The more I think about it, his denial was so fast, so chaotic. I'm concerned. There's two Vandy Whistlers. The other one needs to be on high alert. Oh right. yeah. Mincy is probably coming for him. Oh, there's not a doubt in my mind. Why, would, why are you even asking this question? Of course you did. Did, have people said no? I actually think he did kill him. He would like accidentally make a video and the dead body would be in the background. <laughs> it's all but proven, right? Look at him from when he was in that video. There might as well just be blood on his hands. Yeah, he's guilty. Do you think Mincy killed the Mandy Whistler? What? <laughs> yeah. I don't believe Ben Mintz killed the Mandy Whistler. He might have. I don't think he could do it on purpose. He can't do anything on purpose. Oh, we can't rule out that he killed the Mandy Whistler. Right. Accidental, manslaughter. Correct, yeah. The evidence is staggering. I was in Omaha with Ben Mintz and the Vandy Whistler in 2021. It was not good energy. He's not, the full story isn't, isn't out yet. Do you think Mincy killed the man who whistled? Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> I wouldn't put anything past that guy. He he could he could kill a family member of mine and I'd be like, that's just Mince being Mince, dude. That's just who he is. I can sit in all sorts of crazy ways. Sit like this. No one people can do what that. What the fuck is that? Let's do that. <laughs> do that. No one no one can do this. That's a gremlin right there. Like he's just crawling out of the floor and like, oh my god. <laughs> that's terrifying. <laughs> Bro, you could have played Slender Man. And the mob, 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 the